National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws, Wikipedia Article Audio The National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws is an American non-profit organization based in Washington, D.C. whose aim is to move public opinion sufficiently to achieve the legalization of non-medical marijuana in the United States so that the responsible use of cannabis by adults is no longer subject to penalty. According to their website, Normel supports the removal of all criminal penalties for the private possession and responsible use of marijuana by adults, including the cultivation for personal use and the casual non-profit transfers of small amounts, and supports the development of a legally controlled market for cannabis. Normel and the Normel Foundation support both those fighting prosecution under marijuana laws and those working to legalize marijuana. Similar affiliated organizations operate under the Normel banner in other countries among them Normel New Zealand, Normel Ireland, Normel Canada, Normel UK, and Normel France. History Normel Foundation Media and Activism State and Local Chapters International Branches In the 2006 United States midterm elections, Normel promoted several successful local initiatives that declared marijuana enforcement to be the lowest priority for local law enforcement, freeing up police resources to combat violent and serious crime. Normel was founded in 1970 by Keith Stroop funded by $5,000 from the Playboy Foundation. Since then, the organization has played a central role in the cannabis decriminalization movement. At the start of the 1970s, the premier decriminalization organizations were Legalize Marijuana, better known as Lamar, and Amorphia, the two of which merged in 1971. The next year, Amorphia led the unsuccessful campaign for California's Marijuana Legalization Initiative. Proposition 19. In 1974, Amorphia merged with Normel. By the middle of the 1970s, Playboy owner Hugh Hefner's financial support through the Playboy Foundation set Normel apart from its predecessors, making it the premier decriminalization advocacy group. At one point, Hefner was donating $100,000 a year to Normel. The organization has a large grassroots network with 135 chapters and over 550 lawyers. Normel holds annual conferences and continuing legal education accredited seminars. Its board of directors has, at times, included such prominent political figures as Senators Philip Hart, Jacob K. Javits, and Ross Mercarimi. In 1989, Donald Fiedler succeeded John Getman as the executive director of Normel. In August 1992, Richard Cowan became executive director of Normel. Keith Stroop became executive director once again in 1995 after Cowan stepped down. In 2016, Eric Altieri was selected by the Normel Board of Directors to become the organization's seventh executive director. The Normel Foundation, the organization's tax-exempt unit, conducts educational and research activities. Examples of the Normel Foundation's advocacy work is a detailed 2006 report, Emerging Clinical Applications for Cannabis. A comprehensive report with county-by-county -county marijuana arrest data, Crimes of Indiscretion, Marijuana Arrest in America, was published in 2005. In October 1998, Normel Foundation published the Normel Report on U.S. Domestic Marijuana Production that was widely cited in the mainstream media. The report methodically estimated the value and number of cannabis plants grown in 1997, 
finding that Drug Enforcement Administration, state and local law enforcement agencies seized 32% of domestic cannabis plants planted that year. According to the report, marijuana remains the fourth largest cash crop in America despite law enforcement spending an estimated $10 billion annually to pursue efforts to outlaw the plant. Recent studies show that marijuana is larger than all other cash crops combined. In 2002, the organization used ads containing New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg quotes on his past use of pot, saying you bet I did. And I enjoyed it. The mayor said I'm not thrilled they're using my name. I suppose there's that first amendment that gets in the way of me stopping it but maintained that the NYPD will continue to vigorously enforce the laws. As an advocacy group, Normel has been active in spreading its message to the public. In early 2009, a petition to President Barack Obama was written asking that he appoint a drug czar who will treat drug abuse as a health issue rather than a criminal issue and will move away from a war on drugs paradigm. Normel's goal for this petition was 100,000 signatures. Also in early 2009, when the Kellogg Company dropped its contract with Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps after pictures of him using a bung surfaced in the media, head members of Normel began boycotting Kellogg products and urging all members and supporters of Normel to boycott Kellogg, until the company reversed the decision. Normel also suggested that supporters of the cause send emails or letters to Kellogg explaining the boycott and the reasons behind it, even providing a template for emails and letters. Although Kellogg's profits did not suffer in the first quarter of 2009, consumer ratings polls at Vano have been cited as indicating that Kellogg's reputation has suffered. Specifically, a small poll of Kellogg's brand reputation at Vano showed a drop from its previous rank of 9 to 83 after Kellogg decided not to renew its contract with Michael Phelps. On February 15, 2010, a 15-second flash animation from Normel discussing the potential economic and financial benefit of legalized marijuana was deemed by CBS to be too political to display on billboards in New York City's Times Square. This drew criticism in the blogosphere and accusations of hypocrisy on Twitter since CBS had recently aired an anti-abortion television spot during the 2010 Super Bowl. CBS reversed its decision and the ad was debuted on the CBS Times Square Superscreen on April 20, 2010.